Hi there. Okay, so today we're going to find um, out how we can uh, find our TV for Education video files and brings us to our catalog. And if we did a search, um, for example, nutrition, like we just did there, it will bring us to this list. We've got lots of results, 202. But what we can do is we can filter by video. So everything that's playable in the catalogue in terms of uh, audiovisual will have a video file in square brackets in the title. So you can either search for video file by title or you can do that search like I did and then put the uh, filter on for media. Okay so let's just have a quick look on this one's fat versus sugar. Click on it, go to the link Put in your network username and password, the one you use to log into the system, and hey presto. So there you have the show playing, you can make it full screen, and away you go. Okay, so if we just go back a step and we can have a look at the uh, where that is in the catalog you can see that it tells me that it's a uh, video file here mp4 and there's even a QR code if you want to you can send that to your students and they can click on it and it will uh, open up that program for them now because you have to put your username and password in um, you will be prevented from looking at it if you're not a member of the school community or if you're not the right age for the rating of the TV show. So that's a good little safeguard there for teachers and students. Okay, so that's how you play it uh, and play it in the classroom, play it at home even. But if you wanted to do something else with the file or edit it yourself, I would suggest rather than using Firefox like we have here, I would suggest that maybe we go to uh, use Internet Explorer and then if you do open a program put in your username and password as we do oh, it helps if you put in the right one and when you do it this way you'll get a few other little boxes one of them here is open or save so if you want to make this uh, take it home save as and then you can save it to your memory stick and uh, away you go you can use it at home um, I would suggest that you always do that or save it to one of your own external drives and not to the shared drive otherwise we'll run out of space okay so just to recap if we go back search anything in the catalogue any kind of um, show or topic. If you get a lot of hits, you can find out that you can use the filter, filter by media, and go to the video file, which will show up like that. Click on the link, and the blue link, and then put your details in and it'll play it. So that's how you play TV for Education files and in our next one I shall show you how to search for programs to request for us to download. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for listening.